Hey, what's going on, everybody? Io Studios here for the video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to uh, make a snow material in Cinema 4D and Octane Render. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So, um, essentially, what we're going to be making is um, some subsurface scattering and some reflections and then combining it with a mixed material. So, let's start by making all that. So, we're going to add a mixed material, a Octane material, and another Octane material. So this one will make it the um, snow SSS. Okay, um, we're gonna uh, go into the node editor right away actually. So we're gonna go to basic uh, material type. Probably want that set to, um, we're gonna want that set to specular. Um, fake shadows, go ahead and enable that. Uh, roughness, and then set that to full. Reflection, um, I guess, I think we're gonna have about half the reflection. We don't want that much, but we can have a little. Um, you want to go to, let's see here. Right, medium. Okay, there it is. Scattering medium. Click that. Okay, here we're going to go to uh, RGB spectrum. RGB spectrum. We're going to plug one into the absorption, one into the scattering. Whoops. Okay, and we're going to set the, the scattering one. So we're going to set that to nine <clears throat> and ten. And so 9 degrees, 10%, and just set this blah blah to 100. Um, and basically what this will do is it'll tint, <clears throat> sorry, it'll tint the scattering um, blue. Obviously we're doing it red, that might seem counterintuitive, but because of the way that octane and scattering and light and stuff works, um, we're going to need to set it to the inverted. So, you know, if you wanted red, you'd set it to blue. If you want blue, you set it to red. So, uh, here, I can set that back here, hold on. And 10 and 100. Anyway, like that. Okay, for the absorption, um, that can just be pretty much white. I mean, you know, maybe we'll do a little bit of a kind of blue, um, blue cyanish. We'll set it to like 0.5, very small amount. It's very insignificant, but just a little bit here. Okay, we're going to add another RGB spectrum here. And you're going to want, um, this one we're going to do transmission. So transmission, and transmission, you don't need to invert any kind of, funny stuff, um, we're just going to set it right, uh, directly to what we want, so 173 in the H, in the S value, we're just going to set it to 2%, so we're going to want a little bit of um, light cyanish kind of color here, just like that. Okay, um, once we are done that, okay, scattering medium, we need to change this, so this, um, the density and volume step length, <clears throat> these values will depend uh, a little bit on your scene, like the scale of your scene, for my scene, um, the value of 7 for, sorry, a value of 7 for the volume step length and 4 for the density. Um, that works for my scene. It is going to depend on your scene, so you're going to want to tweak these up and down um, depending on your scene or depending on kind of the effect you're, you're wanting to get. But, you know, this is kind of a good baseline maybe for you to get started with. Um, okay, once we have this, we'll just preview this right now. We're going to apply this to our little snowman here and the ground. I'm going to get this rendering. And you can already see here, it's looking it's looking pretty all right. We've got, um, you can see this kind of bluish tint here. If, if you look closely, you can see we've got that kind of, like, you know, bit of reflection here, but not too much. And then, um, you know, it's even though this is on the other side of the snowman, you know, it's, it's not completely dark because light is passing through because of the subsurface scattering. So it's already looking pretty good, a little bit like snow. Um, but there's a few more things we can do. So we're going to go to our second octane material that we made at the beginning. Oh, it's lagging. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, crack this, thing, crack this thing open. We're going to set it to snow reflections. Okay, material type, glossy. And you're going to want index, uh, uh, we can do like 1.35 maybe-ish. Um, and you can set it to ward reflection model. Uh, I realize that Octane 3 users won't have this option, <clears throat> the BDRF, BDRF model. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Octane 3 users will not have the BDRF model, but since I do, I'm going to set it to Ward. If you don't, it's fine. It won't make too big of a difference. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our roughness, set it to about, ah, we'll try 0.2 maybe, something like that. We can tweak that later if we need to, but I think that'll be a good, good baseline. Um... Diffuse color. Yeah, maybe if you want to make the reflection. Actually, no, no, no. We'll have the reflections completely white. We'll just do 90, like, 
white. Okay. We're going to go to our mixed material. Drag in our snow. Okay. Lag, lag for me. Okay. Drag in our snow SSS. Um, our... Okay. Octane seems to be a little laggy right now. Okay. Drag in my snow reflection. Okay. Uh, and for the amount, we're just going to tweak it so that... Let's see here. You want... Probably more, um, you want more reflection than you want SS. So we're going to set it to, or more, sorry, more SS than you want reflection. So we're just going to tweak this here. And we're going to set it to 0 0.95, I believe should work. It's a good value. So here, just wait for this to load. And I will start the, actually we're going to, first we have to actually apply the Octane material. We'll just drag it right into the Octane viewer here. Just like that. Let me just check. So we got the mixed material applied there. Whoop. Delete that. We got the mixed material applied there. Let's get the mixed material applied there as well. Whoops. Delete that. Okay. We got the mixed material applied everywhere. Now, <clears throat> you can see here we are getting these kinds of um, nice highlights here, like right there and right there, which is good. So we're getting the snow. <clears throat> now we are almost done, but there um there is something more we need to do. We need to add some displacement. Um, so let me explain to you why, because basically snow isn't just a flat kind of perfectly, you know, even flat layer of snow and it comes, snow comes from like a layer of snow on the ground comes from, um, snowflakes falling down and they fall randomly. So you get a kind of random bumps if you look closely at snow, right? Because all the different snowflakes. So to simulate that, what we're going to do, I'm just going to pause the render here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to add some displacement and we're going to use a poxo shader. So... Go to our mixed material here. We may as well go to, uh, okay, so use displacement, add displacement. I'm going to go to node editor here. It's a little messy, but I'm not going to worry about organizing it all now. I'm just going to go to my displacement here. <clears throat> um, my, let's see here. Uh, displacement, okay, we want noise, noise, noise. There we go. I want the Cinema 4D noise. Okay, and for the noise, we're going to set it to Poxo. Uh, the last thing we're going to do is change our render settings. So if, you're, if your thing doesn't look as good as mine, um, I'll teach you how to change the render settings after this. So noise, poxo, um, we can set the contrast maybe like 10%. Uh, you don't need to change anything else here really. Uh, in the displacement, you probably want to set that to uh, 1000 by 1000. Um, the amount, <clears throat> again, this will depend on your scene scale a little bit, but I'm going to set it down to like, I'm going to try like three maybe... I will try 2.5. Okay. Got that. Got that. Now, um, you're going to want to tile your snow. <clears throat> like, you're going to want to make it, because like, we're going to look at this, and, like, yeah, we have displacement here, but the scale is, like, the scale is off. It's it's displaced, like, too much. The scale the scale is too, it's too, um, it's too big, <laughs> essentially. So, we're going to select both of these here. Um, projection, obviously, set that to cubic first. Length. Um, U and V, this will depend on your scene, 35, 35. I know that works for my scene because I've tested it before the video. <clears throat> but, like, you essentially want it so that, like, you look up close. Um, and, you know, you can see the snow. Like, this is... Like, you look up close and you can kind of see, like, it looks like snow you'd have in real life. You just kind of want to tweak it so that it looks visually like it would, like you want it in real life. So, you know, that is, again, up to your, your scene. Um... <clears throat> Maybe I'll set this to, whoops, I keep opening that up. <laughs> You'll set it to 25, 25, and we'll actually tweak the, the displacement to be lower, in fact. And we'll do like 1.5, perhaps. Let's see here. I think this is looking a little bit better. Let's go from a little camera angle here and, and see how this is looking. Yeah, I'd say this is looking pretty good, like snow. Um, we're going to go to our Octane settings here, and I'm just going to reset it. So here add new preset hold on i need to reset my settings here reset okay i want to reset my render settings so through the whole video um your snowman is probably been looking like this which is kind of sad so um you're going to want to tweak it um you're going to want to tweak your render settings so we'll go through that first one is path tracing if you're doing anything subsurface scattering absolutely use path tracing otherwise it will look like absolute garbage i mean completely trust me okay gi clamp um we can set that down to like 1.5 um this was just going to prevent hot pixels uh so well yeah 1.5 is good filter size you can set that to one 
um, parallel samples, max tile samples, crank that up all the way. Whether it goes to 32 by 64 or um, 16 by 32, that will depend on your Octane version, but just crank those all the way up always. Um, okay, settings, you are going to want to make sure that you are on priority high and using all your graphics cards. <clears throat> the only reason I'm not using all my graphics cards is because uh, I'm recording and I want, you know, good recording quality. <laughs> so, um, okay, post, enable that. And we're going to actually really bring up that post quite a bit um, just for the scene to make it look good. Just like that. <clears throat> I think that looks pretty good. Maybe 200 is a bit too much. 180, something like that. Uh, exposure. In fact, I want to bring up the exposure at 1.5-ish. Let's see here. Can I bring down the post a little? I think that looks that looks pretty all right. Um, <clears throat> okay, I think that's it for the render settings. Um, if you want to, you can use a custom LUT, but uh, I mean, that's the only thing in Octane 4, so I'm not going to use that because I realize that a lot of my viewers are probably still on Octane 3. Anyway, um, that's that for the snow material. Um, I will try and leave a download link for the material in the description if I can figure out. So it'll essentially be a .orbex, which you can import in Octane. I'll leave a download with for the material um, for everybody lazy, or if you are having problems with the tutorial for some reason, um, you can just download the material that I made directly. Um, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I uh, hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye.